Dear students, I welcome you to this video on Indian history. Let us see the period of India in 7th century BC and the invasion of Alexander the Great. In 7th century BC, there were 16 great powers. They were called as Mahajana Padas. The important kingdoms of Mahajana Padas were Magadha, Kosala and Avanti. There were two republics, Sakyas of Kabilavastu and Lichavis of Vaisali. The Lord Buddha came from Sakya clan. His father Suddhodana was a king. The Magadhan king Bimbisara made Magadhan kingdom a mighty kingdom by uniting all other small kingdoms by having matrimonial alliances. Bimbisara was followed by Ajada Satru. During this period, monarchies flourished but republics decayed. In 5th century BC, Persia, that is modern Peshawar in Pakistan, was ruled by Cyrus. He was followed by Darius. In 326 BC, Alexander the Great invaded Persia and crossed river Indus. He was welcomed by the ruler of Taxila. He had to make a war with Porus. Porus was ruling the areas between rivers Zilam and Chenab. In the Battle of Kari, the ruler of uh, areas between Zilam and Chenab, Porus, had to face a defeat at the hands of Alexander the Great. The Alexander the Great, after the victory, asked Porus how he should be treated, for which Porus answered, a king should be treated like a king. After this victory, Alexander the Great wanted to enter into Gangetic Valley. The Gangetic Valley was at the time ruled by powerful Nandas, but Alexander the Great had to make a retreat because his soldiers were not ready. They were tired of long and continuous warfare. They became homesick also. So Alexander the Head, Great had to make a retreat on his way back to his country at Babylon. Alexander the Great died in 323 BC. Thus came to an end the invasion of Alexander the Great. We will see the next part of Indian history in another video. Till then, it is bye from Professor Ramakrishnan.